In this first naming organic compounds videos, I'm going to sort of lay out the rules that we use to formulate the name of organic compounds. And then I'm going to look at a specific set of organic compounds. We'll look at the alkanes first. They're the simplest ones. And then future videos will look at different homologous series. So naming organic compounds, also known as nomenclature. So you might see that word, that's all it means. And basically the rules that we have to use have been laid down by a, a body called UPAC, I-U-P-A-C. The name that we get when we apply those rules, that's what we call the systematic name. So all chemicals have a systematic name, which is the name derived by using these rules. If I just give you an example of an everyday substance, so we all know about something called paracetamol. That's not a systematic name because the systematic name for paracetamol is n 4 hydroxy phenyl ethanamide. But obviously you wouldn't go into the pharmacist and ask for that. Well, you could, I'm sure they would know what you mean, but um, you wouldn't do that, you would ask for paracetamol. So often chemicals have other names, but we're gonna focus on what's called the systematic name, the name that we get when we apply these rules. So if we look at some simple alkanes to get us started, down the left hand side I've got four alkanes, so we've got two carbons, so that's ethane, three carbons, propane, four carbons, butane, and five carbons, pentane. Obviously if you wanted six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, you would just keep the sort of zigzag going, wouldn't you? So if we have a look at the right hand side now, these are what we call branched alkanes. So you can see we've got a branch here. This part of the molecule is sort of an extra part sticking off the main chain, if you like. So the main chain would be this, and then we've got a branch here. So we're gonna look at naming these now. Now this single line here is what we call a methyl group. I'll just write that in, that's a methyl group. So it's a single carbon with three hydrogens attached. So how do we name this? Well, the, the UPAC rules dictate that the first thing you need to do is identify the longest continuous carbon chain. So we've got a chain of one, two, three, four. You could have said one, two, three, four, that's still a continuous chain there. But you've still got a methyl group either way of this carbon. So the longest chain is four long, so it's obviously based on but butane, this one here. So we've got a methyl group on a carbon of a butane chain. So which carbon is it? Well, if we count from left to right, that would be carbon number one, two, three. But the rule, the UPAC rule is we must go on the lowest number. So if we start from the right and move to the left, we actually get a two, carbon number one, carbon number two. So this would be carbon number two, methyl group on carbon number two of a butane molecule. So we'll give that a name now. So that's called two methyl butane. And you'll notice there we use a hyphen to separate the number from the sort of letters, the words in the name. So you have a go at the next three, and then obviously I'll go through the answers. So this one here, what's the longest continuous chain? We've got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, or one, two, three, four, five. So it's obviously this chain of five. So it's going to be based on this one here. So it's based on pentane. There's a methyl group. Which carbon is it on? Is it on carbon number one, two, three, or one, two, three? It's on carbon number three. Sorry, that wasn't even funny. So this is called three hyphen methyl pentane. I'm afraid the next one is a trick question. 
Um, this is actually not a branch because if you count one, two, three, four, five, six, it's part of a continuous chain. So this is hexane. So well done if you got that right. I always throw things like that into my students because I'm kind of hoping that somebody, and that's a bit horrible, but somebody I'm wanting to call this sort of one methyl pentane so I can make the point of the continuous chain. The last one, we've got one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, right? That looks like the longest chain. So it's based on pentane. And what have we got? We've got a methyl group here and we've got a methyl group here. So this is carbon number two, which means now that's fixed at two, that's obviously carbon number three. So if we count it this way, we'd end up with one, two, three, four. So we can't call it three, four. We have to go this way. So it's two, three. So this would be called two, three dimethyl, because we've got two methyl groups, two, three dimethyl pentane. And you can see there when you have two numbers in the name, we separate the numbers with a comma. And remember the hyphen separates the numbers from the words.